The Royal Australian Air Force operates a fleet of 14 P-8A Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft, a cornerstone of Australia's anti-submarine warfare capabilities in the Indo-Pacific region. Based at Royal Australian Air Force Base Edinburgh and operated by No. 11 and No. 292 squadrons under No. 92 wing, these aircraft, derived from the Boeing 737-800 platform, are equipped with state-of-the-art sensors, weapons, and communication systems tailored for detecting, tracking, and neutralizing submarine threats. As Australia faces an evolving maritime security landscape, the P-8A's advanced ASW capabilities ensure it remains a critical asset for protecting national interests across vast oceanic domains. The P-8A Poseidon's ASW prowess begins with its sophisticated sensor suite, designed to detect submarines in diverse maritime environments. At the heart of its detection capabilities is the AN-APY-10 radar, which offers synthetic aperture radar and inverse synthetic aperture radar modes for high-resolution imaging. This radar excels at identifying surfaced submarines or those at periscope depth, particularly in littoral and open ocean settings. Complementing the radar is an advanced acoustic sensor system, which includes both passive and multi-static sonoboys. With a capacity to deploy and monitor up to 129 sonoboys, four times the processing power of the RF's predecessor, the AP-3C Orion, the P-8A can cover expansive areas to locate submerged submarines. The aircraft's MX-20 HD electro-optical infrared turret further enhances its ability to visually identify and track targets, while electronic support measures detect and classify submarine radar and communication emissions, providing critical situational awareness. This integrated sensor suite allows the P-8A to build a comprehensive picture of the underwater battle space, making it exceptionally effective at locating elusive submarines. Beyond detection, the P-8A is equipped with formidable weapon systems to engage submarine threats. The aircraft carries Mark 54 lightweight torpedoes, which can be deployed with the High Altitude Anti-Submarine Warfare Weapon Capability Kit, the HAAWC. The system equips torpedoes with wings and fins, enabling high-altitude standoff launches that increase the aircraft's safety and operational range. The P-8A's weapons capacity is substantial, with five internal bomb bay hardpoints, four underwing, and two under-fuselage hardpoints, allowing it to carry over 22,000 pounds of munitions. While primarily focused on ASW, the aircraft is also slated to integrate the long-range anti-ship missile, which will enhance its ability to strike surface vessels, complementing its submarine hunting role. This combination of advanced torpedoes and versatile weapons carriage ensures the P-8A can neutralize submarine threats with precision and flexibility, adapting to a range of mission requirements. The P-8A's operational range and endurance further amplifies ASW effectiveness. With an internal fuel capacity of nearly 34 tons, the aircraft can conduct low-level ASW missions over 2,000 kilometers from its base, remaining on station for more than four hours at a 1,200 nautical mile radius. Its ability to perform air-to-air -air refueling with the Royal Australian Air Force's KC-30A multi-role tanker transport extends its reach, enabling prolonged missions across Australia's vast maritime domain. The P-8A operates at altitudes up to 41,000 feet, but can descend to 200 feet for precise sonoboy deployment and torpedo delivery, offering operational versatility. This combination of long endurance, extensive range, and low-level maneuverability allows the P-8A to maintain persistent surveillance and rapid response capabilities, critical for countering submarine activities in the Indo-Pacific. A key strength of the P-8A lies in its data fusion and connectivity, which enhance its ASW mission effectiveness. The aircraft's open mission system architecture integrates sensor data through advanced software, providing real-time tracking and targeting capabilities. Its extensive communication suite, including VHF, UHF, HF, SATCOM, Link 11, and Link 16, 
ensures seamless interoperability with allied forces, such as the U.S. Navy's P-8A fleet and the MQ-4C Triton unmanned aerial vehicle. This connectivity enables the P-8A to share and receive real-time intelligence, creating a networked approach to ASW. Additionally, the inclusion of a sixth operator station, retrofitted to earlier aircraft and standard on later models, increases crew capacity to manage complex missions. These features make the P-8A not only a standalone ASW platform, but also a vital node in multinational maritime operations, strengthening Australia's role in regional security frameworks. The P-8A's capabilities are being further enhanced through the Increment 3 Block 2 upgrade program, which introduces new racks, radomes, antennas, sensors, and wiring. These upgrades improve acoustic processing, signal intelligence, and track management, ensuring the aircraft remains effective against increasingly sophisticated submarine technologies. The Royal Australian Air Force's investment in these enhancements reflects a commitment to maintaining a technological edge in ASW, particularly as regional powers modernize their submarine fleets. Operationally, the P-8A has proven its versatility through deployments on missions such as Operation Gateway, Operation Argos, and United Nations Embargo Enforcement against North Korea. Collaborative exercises such as EUSINDEX with the Indian Navy's P-8I demonstrate the aircraft's ability to operate alongside allied platforms, reinforcing its strategic value in coalition operations. Despite its strengths, the P-8A has notable limitations. Unlike the Indian Navy's P-8I, the Australian variant lacks a magnetic anomaly detector, a decision driven by its focus on medium-altitude ASW and reliance on advanced acoustics and radar. While Royal Australian Air Force operators have reported minimal impact due to the aircraft's superior sensor suite, the absence of MAD may limit its effectiveness in certain scenarios, such as detecting deeply submerged submarines in noisy environments. Additionally, the PAA's nine-person crew, comprising two pilots, five mission crew, a relief pilot, and a technician, is smaller than that of the AP-3C Orion. However, the aircraft's automation and data fusion capabilities mitigate this reduction, ensuring efficient mission execution. These limitations, while noteworthy, do not significantly detract from the PAA's overall ASW performance, given its advanced systems and ongoing upgrades. The strategic significance of the P-8A Poseidon cannot be overstated. Paired with the MQ-4C Triton, it provides Australia with one of the world's most advanced maritime patrol capabilities, essential for monitoring and securing the nation's extensive maritime borders. The aircraft's ability to conduct persistent, long-range ASW missions positions it as a critical deterrent against submarine threats in the Indo-Pacific, where underwater warfare capabilities are rapidly advancing. Its interoperability with allied forces further enhances Australia's contribution to regional stability, particularly in contested areas like the South China Sea. As the Royal Australian Air Force continues to integrate upgrades and expand operational experience, the P-8A will remain a pivotal asset in Australia's defence strategy. In conclusion, the Royal Australian Air Force's P-8A Poseidon represents a leap forward in anti-submarine warfare, combining cutting-edge sensors, versatile weapons, long endurance, and robust connectivity to deliver unmatched ASW capabilities. While limitations such as the absence of a MAD and a smaller crew size exist, they are overshadowed by the aircraft's advanced systems and operational flexibility. With ongoing upgrades and a proven track record in regional operations, the P-8A ensures Australia is well-equipped to counter submarine threats in an increasingly complex maritime environment.